more private property. No more you. It's been more than 60 years since the era of Cold War propaganda cartoons, but socialism may still be the boogeyman of American politics. The state will do your planning from now on. At least for President Trump. Socialism is about only one thing. It's called power for the ruling class. With 20 months until the election, anti-socialism is Trump's battle cry. At the annual Conservative Political Action Conference earlier this month, the president accused Democrats of wanting to replace individual rights with total government domination. His main target? A self-proclaimed democratic socialist and one of the front runners in the crowded democratic primary field. An economy and a government which works for all of us, not just the one percent. Sanders champions policies such as universal health care, free higher education, and doubling the minimum wage. He also backs the Green New Deal, a non-binding resolution proposed by Democrats to revitalize the economy and eliminate carbon emissions. The depression have brought poverty and hunger. The term harkens back to President Roosevelt's New Deal, a massive government stimulus to restore prosperity during the 1930s Great Depression. But is Sanders the best candidate to unite the non-Trump voters? If the Democrats nominate some far left-wing candidate who talks about socialism, that is the best outcome for Republican candidates and for President Trump to be reelected. Polls show American views on socialism have evolved, particularly those of millennials who came of age during the 2008 recession and are disillusioned about an economy that is delivering fewer opportunities. They're very wary of spending beyond their means. They're wary of tools like credit cards. But it's a bet the president apparently is willing to take. Analysts point out that painting Democrats as socialists will reinforce Trump's base and expand Republican appeal to Hispanic voters. Absolutely in a place like Florida, where there's a large number of Venezuelans and Cuban immigrants, they understand exactly what socialism is and they hate it. Which is exactly what Trump emphasized in his Venezuelan Miami speech last month. Community. Socialism promises a better future, but it always returns to the darkest chapters of the past. A warning the president fails. is likely to it repeat on his way to 2020. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News at the White House. Oh.